PTSD is most commonly associated with veterans. Although I'm not a military vet, I live through another type of war. I am a survivor of sexual and mental child abuse. My earliest memory of being molested is three. This went on until I was 14. These men were all people I was supposed to be able to trust and depend on. The most damaging part for me were all the years I had to endure these men remaining a part of the family. I had to pretend I had not been violated. I was not born with PTSD. My childhood traumas, the sexual and mental abuse, built up inside of me, hidden all my childhood years, and manifest as PTSD. Six of us were removed from the home by Child Protective Services. With all my trust in adult figures broken, I became a runaway from the state of Arizona. By 17, CPS would deem me incorrigible through the courts and return custody to my mother. I became an expert at making bad decisions. It's been two years since I received my diagnosis. Knowing why I react the way I do has freed me. There are still times when I feel emotionally raw. Using coping skills is imperative for my mental health. I have Diamond, my emotional support animal. I have therapists and a team of peer support specialists to talk to. Therapy has served me well in fighting the stigma of PTSD. Today, I know I am not my diagnosis. I am more than just a victim. I am not alone. I do have a voice. The abuse I endured is not my fault. My life, my life does have value. I can trust again. I am worthy of love. Every time I speak out against my traumas, they lose power over me. Today I know healing is possible.